हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ सोनल लाड असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर के आई टीज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर वेलकम टू द कोर्स लीनियर इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द डिस्कशन ऑफ ड्यूल इनपुट बैलेंस्ड आउटपुट डिफरेंशियल एम्पलीफायर्स सो फार वी हैव गॉन थ्रू द ए सी एंड डी सी एनालिसिस ऑफ द ड्यूल इनपुट बैलेंस्ड आउटपुट डिफरेंशियल एम्पलीफायर नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन अबाउट द कॉन्स्टेंट करेंट बयास सो वॉट इज द नेसेसिटी ऑफ द कॉन्स्टेंट करेंट बयास The constant current bias is required to set up the emitter DC bias current. It provides the current stabilization and assures a stable operating point for the differential amplifier. So as we know that in case of dual input balanced output differential amplifier, the emitter current is set up by the emitter resistance RE and the voltage source VEE. In order to have the stable operating point, we need this constant current biasing. That is the I E. That is the current that is flowing through the emitter terminal needs to be a constant one, or it has to be the fixed one. Now, I would like to ask you a question. You can pause this video and try to think about it. About it. Why a stable operating point is required for the differential amplifiers? So, a stable operating point is required. in order to ensure that the differential op amplifier operates in a linear region why in a linear region because in this region the output varies in proportion with the input that is a smallest signal can be amplified without distortion at the output side and in order to ensure that the differential amplifier operates in this linear region a stable operating point is required okay so now we'll study how we can achieve the constant current biasing in case of the differential amplifiers so in order to have this constant current biasing in dual input balanced output differential amplifier we are going to replace that resistance re which is available at the emitter side with the another circuit that is consisting of a transistor and resistors okay so now so we know that a dual input balanced output differential amplifier so this is nothing but a dual input balanced output differential amplifier the emitter current here is set up by re and voltage source minus vee so now what we are going to do in order to stabilize this current ie that is the emitter current we are going to replace this re by few more circuits okay so let us start with the discussion of this such circuits which will provide constant current biasing for the differential amplifiers so we'll start with the first circuit so here i'll replace resistor re by transistor q3 and at the base of this q3 we have a re resistive divider network consisting of resistors r1 and r2 
Okay. Now, for this, we are going to determine the emitter current I e or I e 3, let us call it as. Now, the voltage available at the base terminal of this Q 3 V B 3 is given as using the voltage divider rule, it is R 2 divided by R 1 plus R 2 into minus V e e. Okay. So, this is the potential available at this terminal V B 3. Now, V E 3 is nothing but V B 3 minus V B E 3. Okay. Because we know that V B E 3 is nothing but what? V B 3 minus V E 3. Therefore, V E 3 is equal to V B 3 minus V B E 3. Okay. Now, what we want to determine is current I E 3. I E 3 is nothing but what? It is V E 3 minus minus of V E E divided by the resistance R E. Okay. So, this is V E 3 minus minus of V E E divided by R E. So, V E 3 is how much? It is V B 3 minus V E E V B E 3 minus minus plus V E E upon R E. Now, V B 3 is R 2 divided by R 1 plus R 2 into minus V E E plus V B E 3 plus V E E divided by R E. Okay. So, this is the value of emitter current I E 3 which is set up by this Q 3. Okay. Now, here since these two halves are equal, I E 1 and I E 2 will be exactly half of the I E 3. Okay. Since now, here since no current has been injected into the base terminal or in the emitter terminal of this Q3, this IE3 will be constant. Okay. So, this circuit is acting as a constant current bias circuit. Okay. Here, IE3 is fixed. Now, what we will do for the we will try to replace this resistor R1 by a pair of diodes in order to improve the thermal stability. That is, even though there are certain variations in the temperature, this I3 should not be altered. So, in order to provide that, we will replace R1 by a pair of diodes. So, alternate circuitry for this constant current bias is, now I will directly draw the constant current bias circuit. Okay, now what we have done here? We have replaced R1 by a pair of diodes. Here the voltage across each of these diodes is, let us call it as Vd. Okay, now why have we have done, we have done this arrangement in order to provide the thermal stability. For thermal stability. Now, here Vb3 is equal to 
वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस दिस डायोड प्लस वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस दिस डायोड प्लस माइनस ऑफ वीई सो दैट इज टू वी डी माइनस वीई ओके नाउ वीई थ्री वीई थ्री इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच इट इज वी बी थ्री माइनस वी बी थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू टू वी डी माइनस वीई माइनस वी बी थ्री ओके नाउ लेट एस ट्राई टू डिटरमाइन दिस करंट आई थ्री आई ई थ्री इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच इट इज वी थ्री माइनस ऑफ माइनस वीई अपॉन आर ई द करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू दिस रेजिस्टर आर ई आई ई थ्री इज इक्वल टू द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एक्रॉस दिस रेजिस्टर इज वी थ्री माइनस माइनस वीई डिवाइड बाय द रेजिस्टेंस इज सेल्फ सो दिस इज वीई थ्री माइनस माइनस ऑफ वीई अपॉन आर ई सो दिस विल गिव अस आई थ्री इज इक्वल टू दिस इज वीई थ्री प्लस वीई अपॉन आर ई सो हाउ मच इज वीई थ्री इट इज टू वी डी माइनस वीई माइनस वी बी थ्री प्लस वीई अपॉन आर ई सो दिस इज वी विल गेट कैंसल सो दिस इज टू वी डी माइनस वी बीई थ्री अपॉन आर ई सो नाउ इफ वी डी इज इक्वल टू वी बी थ्री देन आई थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू वी डी बाय आर ई सो इट इंडिकेट्स दैट द करंट आई थ्री इज बेस्ड अपॉन दिस वी टी दैट इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस द डायोड नाउ दिस वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस द डायोड इज प्रपोर्शनल टू द करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द डायोड now this current flowing through the diode current id is part of this i2 which is flowing through this r2 thus by varying the value of this r2 we can vary the value of ie3 okay so this is one more circuitry again we can have one more circuitry where we can replace this pair of diodes we can replace this pair of diodes by a single zener diode with a voltage drop of vz and we can perform the same analysis so today we have discussed about the constant current bias the constant current bias help us to stabilize the emitter current in the differential amplifier which will assure the stable operating point for the differential amplifiers thank you